In this video, we're going to illustrate the procedure for replacing barbell horns using an ISM bench scale ultrasonic processor BSP1200 as an example. This procedure is used when switching to a barbell horn of the same or, as shown in this example, a different type and can be applied with all ISM ultrasonic processors and horn models. During the horn replacement procedure, be sure to use the spanner wrenches provided with your ultrasonic processor. Do not substitute these spanner wrenches with any other tools. Step 1. Disassembly Begin by removing the reactor chamber from the support stand. While the ultrasonic stack is positioned on the support stand, remove and collect the thumb screws with split lock washers located on the top of the reactor chamber lid. Then, loosen the bottom clamp holder lower the reactor chamber and remove it from the support stand. Next, loosen the top clamp holder and remove the transducer barbell horn assembly from the support stand by pulling it forward. Before detaching the horn from the transducer, be sure to remove the transducer's support arm. Never rely on the transducer's support arm instead of the spanner wrench during this procedure. To avoid scratches, we recommend placing a small piece of split silicone hose or another soft material in between the spanner wrench and the transducer as shown. Insert the pin of the first spanner wrench into a hole in the transducer's front mass. Hold the wrench against the workbench to prevent counterclockwise rotation. Insert the pin of the second spanner wrench into a hole in the barbell horn's input end. Set it up to provide counterclockwise torque. Tap the handle of the second spanner wrench with a rubber mallet to generate counterclockwise torque. When the horn turns with respect to the transducer, remove the wrenches and continue to unthread the horn by hand. Your horn is now disassembled from the transducer. Step 2. Assembly Before you assemble the horn with the transducer, inspect all surfaces to be joined for scratches. Contact ISM Technical Support if you notice any significant irregularities as they may affect operation and cause equipment damage. Make sure the surfaces are clean. Place the provided Mylar Acoustic Washer over the barbell horn's threaded stud. Thread the horn into the transducer by hand. Next, you will tighten the assembly using the supplied spanner wrenches. Use the same piece of split silicone hose or another soft material in between the spanner wrench and the transducer to avoid scratches. Insert the pin of the first spanner wrench into a hole in the transducer's front mass. Set it up to provide counterclockwise torque. Insert the pin of the second spanner wrench into a hole in the horn's input end. Set it up to provide clockwise torque. Firmly press down with your palms on the wrenches using the weight of your body to generate counterclockwise and clockwise torques on the transducer and the horn respectively. The horn is now assembled with the transducer. Thread the support arm into the transducer and adjust the counter nut by turning it clockwise by hand. Tighten with the adjustable wrench. Secure the ultrasonic stack on the support stand. After attaching the barbell horn, perform the scan stack procedure described in the ultrasonic processor user manual. Any unusually loud screeching noise coming from the transducer horn junction likely indicates that the parts have been assembled improperly. If this happens, disassemble the horn from the transducer and repeat the assembly procedure following all instructions.